Australian Soap Neighbours is approached its 30th year anniversary with the first episode being aired on the 18th of March 1985. I caught up with two of the show's stars to find out all about their time on the show and to test their neighbour's knowledge. Here's what happened when I caught up with Alan Fletcher and Ryan Maloney. Hello, my name is Ophelia. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you as well. Now, Neighbours is approaching 30 years now. Why do you think it's so popular in you know, Australia, overseas in particular? You and me? You mean? You, 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 you just kept Because they're so good looking, really, I think that's, you that's just really kept going, right. Yeah. 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 I think, you know, people watch the show and they go, wow. I wish I lived there because they are all good looking. <laughs> Except for me, because uh, uh, I'm, I'm old oh, and tired. So on. I think the reason I think they watch is because we, are, we have a nice light touch on our show. I think that people like that. They like to see the high drama, but they love to have that nice light. Lots of, we've got lots of comedy. I mean, yes. We do. We take things very seriously. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and you've played Jared, but I can't even call you Toadie anymore. I call you Jared now because I'm kind of. Why? Kind of, I don't know because you're so. Like, because Sonia. Sonia, yeah, Sonia calls Sonia. me. Yes, of Jared. course. Yeah. Nell's yeah. the cutest little girl. She yeah, she's the cutest little she's pretty girl. Cute. She's gorgeous. You just kind of want to eat her. I know, you should say lovely. She's got a little personality now as well. She's starting to say little words as well. She's so yeah. cute. But about your character, you started off as you know, a teenager. You loved the pranks, so, you know, you were a very yep. colourful personality. You've still got that now, but you know, you're a serious family man. So what are you saying? I'm a bit boring now. No, yeah. you're a family yeah, man that's, now. That's what, yeah. No, and you're in right. business, everything's different. How's it been playing that role, seeing the transition between Tony going into now Jared and Becky, the family man? Um, oh, it's just probably a natural natural progression, really. Mm. I think that's kind of what happens to everybody. Yeah. You know, they, they're kind of young and they're all always silly and always doing silly things. I and wasn't. No? No. Well, you so were never you, young. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I stay young. I mean, you're harsh. <laughs> oh, that's it. It's going to be awful. It's going to be awful. So, yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's really haggard, I don't know. <laughs> I know. I'm just, you, you are young now, I guess you must have always been young. Yeah, mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's just a natural progression of things, so mm. yeah, I think it's, you know, it's quite fine. I, I try to chuck in as much comedy yeah. as I can when it's there. Indeed. And you know, with the Doctor, with Carl, we've seen two of his kids come back, we've seen Libby come back, we've mm. seen Mal. How come Billy's not been back? Well, he's just really tied up with that carpentry business in Brisbane. It's very, yeah. very testing for his young busy. kids. And he actually doesn't earn a lot of money, so he can't afford to fly down, even for funerals or weddings. Nothing! No, it's, it's really tough. In fact, he, he makes so little money, he can't really even afford to ring. We don't hear mm. from him much, do we? So, no. it's a bit distressing, but that's okay. I, I, you know. It's alright, you don't have any photos of him anywhere. Anymore. No, no. no he's, There's a big fine. one in well, the front the room. Painting, the painting, yeah. Yeah, painting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's how we remember him from watching. <laughs> and that's probably the best way to remember him. It's just Indeed. being young and cute. <laughs> <laughs> But loads of, start, um, loads of cast are coming back. Would, could he be one of them come back? Would you like him to come back and have a new Look, story? I would, in all seriousness, of course, I would love him to come back. Jesse's a fantastic guy. Yeah. He does come back to Melbourne often for his, his family. Um, but contractually, he can't. Yeah. So he, he, he's wedded to Chicago Fire. And oh, yes, of course. Just the way it works. Indeed. Mm, and also, oh, so, I love that. And in, in, you know, in terms of you know, characters coming back, who would you like to come back? If you have any character from the past come back, who would you choose, Ryan? Uh, I, I do Connor. Connor and Lance. Do mm. those two. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I've always loved Joe Mangle. Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, was sort of, I love working with Mark Little. He's very funny and I've known, known him for many, many years. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, I thought, I thought he was sort of quintessential neighbours. Mm, indeed. Of Joe Mangle character. He was. And which characters do you dislike? Not people. Characters for me at the moment, Nate. I just I can't warm to him. I know he's got a really you know interesting story, but for me personally as a character, I can't. And I, I worry about Chris. And I worry about Susan with being mm. around. So who would you not like, or who who which character would worry you? Would you say or make you think? Hmm. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Well, it's, it's hard because you see, I, I think that the, the, well, every character slots into the drama. Yeah. Like if, if, if every character was, you know, lovely and sweet of and course. nice and charming yeah. and transparent, we wouldn't have a show. So, mm. um, I actually like the character. The characters I might not like. Yeah. Are the ones I like the best because they're the reason. Because they, they, they keep they're watching the you watch. wonder yeah. exactly. Yeah. Indeed. That's, that's a bit of an existentialist nightmare, really, isn't it? It is. Totally. I got confused. You need to have, you need to have people on the show you hate. So that you so will love to watch it. it. Well, it's the same as like Paul Robinson, isn't it? You love oh, to hate yes. it. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. But we do see a soft side to Paul sometimes, though. You do everything <coughs> now and again. Yeah. Well, you'll okay. see that in the next couple of weeks, actually, because Paul actually has a. He pulls up to some terrible mischief, um, and he's <coughs> really pushing the boundaries. But mm. at the same time, when Christmas comes around, because because we're two weeks ahead, yeah. of you you haven't had our Christmas mm -hmm. yet. When Christmas comes around, Paul does something very magnanimous. Ooh. So it's um. 
It's kind of an interesting, you've got, you've got oh, quite a lot. I'm so curious, because I saw the little snip today where obviously he didn't mean to do what he did with Therese, but mm. that kind of had some consequences that he didn't wish for. So mm. it's horrible being behind. <laughs> like there was so much well, it's fun. only two weeks, so it's not really that much. Yeah, yeah. I'll catch up. Yeah. And in terms of, you know, the show, you have got your band in the right prescription, or Carly's in the right prescription, mm. and you've got a band outside of the show. Yeah. How do you fit the time in to be part of Neighbours through Panto and also perform with your band? It all sorts together. I mean, we, we, Ryan and I both took a small amount of time off. Yeah, from yeah. From Let's just preface this with he is a freak of nature. <laughs> <laughs> he is a scheduling just mastermind. He, he, well, he, all, all, all of the, all of the interviews and everything like today, like he's he's already he's worked out. Oh well, I, I'm not going to get in the car to go to that interview. What I'm going to do is it's quicker for me to get on the tube. But while I'm walking to there, I can go past the bank. I need to go to the pharmacy. There's a guitar shop that I wanted to check out, and I bought myself a pair of shoes. And then you know, and then he turns up at the interview. He's he's just amazing. He's a freak. I I, I do like to keep busy, but um, look, it sounds like I do a lot, but yeah. in reality, I do a fraction of what I used to do. I mean, for 10 years we on, on Neighbours, I ran a photography business where I was up until 2, 3 in the morning printing photos mm. while being an actor. And I, I only did that because I thought, well, Neighbours might end tomorrow, you know. Mm. Um, and there was that period of time where you did lots of voiceovers. That's true. Yeah. There was a little bit. <laughs> <that's laughs> and, and, the and the joke was always, um, okay, I'm, well, are we going to finish this? Because I've got a voiceover here too. <laughs> yeah. And you also took some time out as well to do uh, Celebrity Big Brother, Big Brother over here. Yeah. How was that for you? Did you enjoy Celebrity Big Brother? Did you find it? Yeah, it was interesting. It was, yeah? Yeah, it was, it was really quite interesting. I think, to be honest, the boredom was probably the, the biggest thing. They gave you nothing to do for, hey, for you know, the whole time. And did you so. expect with Celebrity Big Brother what you expected when you went into it? I expected a bit more activity, a bit more, you know, things to keep you interested, but uh, yeah, no. Um, I didn't really have much expectations because I didn't watch okay. Big Brother at all, so. Yeah, I was kind of like, oh, well, just to see what this is like. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It was interesting. I, I liked it. It was, you know, it was a crazy experience. Definitely. And could you see yourself with the Big Brother house? Well, not not at the moment, to be honest. And it's interesting you say that because I, 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 you know, I, I do find it hard to sort of just sit still. Um, yeah, so I, don't I, know, I, sure I, I probably, I can imagine myself going completely nuts, you know, <laughs> playing chess <laughs> games in my mind. I don't know what you're doing. But um, I, I never say never. Yeah. But at the moment, it's just kind of not. It, you know, it doesn't sit right for me. Yeah. Um, I've just got other things I prefer to be doing, you know. Cool. My kids are um, um, 17 and 19, you know, they're coming up for the last bit of schooling and one's starting a job. and So I'm, I've got a lot more free time as mm -hmm. a result of that. And uh, so next year we'll see anything you have. Anything you have. And how are you going to celebrate the 30 years of Neighbours? Of course, I know you've got the show coming up, the episode yeah. of the 30th anniversary, but how are you going to celebrate as a team? Is there a party you going out? You're going to be in England, UK, and Australia? We don't know the plans yet, do we? So no. they, there will be a smash-up party in Australia, I'm absolutely, absolutely sure. Will, yeah. And I know That's Channel 5 here has got some fantastic plans. Oh, come. Oh, well, I'm sure well, you can fly out. Yeah, Channel 5 says yes. <laughs> Channel 5, yep, yeah, thank you. Yeah, we'll fly thank you out, no problem at all. Oh, we'll always pass the head around with the cars. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much for talking to me about the show and, of course, about you know you two being very open. But I've got a bit of a quiz. Would uh -oh. you like to take part in it? Yes. Oh, I would love to. Yes, okay. Well, I'm going to give you multiple choice. So Can I'm I answer these thinking... questions? Oh, yeah, there's six questions, actually. I was going to do three each, but okay. whoever jumps in first, actually, see. Okay. Three, three, I don't have a buzz. I've got to bring well, a buzz. You, you, you say Ryan, I'll say Fletch. Well, why don't we say Sonia and Susan? I'll say Susan, you say Sonia. Okay. No, you say Sonia. I, I say Susan. Oh, that reminds me. <laughs> that reminds me of the story. The tattoo story. Hey. Can you share the tattoo story? Oh, we'll count to a tattoo. Yeah. 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 Top of yeah. the women, not probably. Yeah. Yeah. Top okay. secret. Sure. Okay. Well, we've got the quick fire question. Okay. So okay. what I'm going to do, I'll need to shout out if you know the answers. So I'm going to okay. give you the three, but you can't shout until I've given you the three options, okay? Oh, okay. okay. Right, so this first one. The first episode of Neighbours was aired in 1985. Which month? Hang on. January, March, or December? Sun. Oh. March, 18th of March. Oh, bang! Boom, look that. at you. It's my wedding anniversary. Oh. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. You, you got married on the first day of the day. Wait, 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 Neighbours started in 1985 with three families, the Robinsons, the Ramses, and who were the third? So, hang on. The Clarks, the Carpenters, the Mangles. Susan. The Clarks. Well the done! Mangles. One, nil. Right, okay. So, one, one. One, one. one, one. Okay, third one. 
Okay, in what year did Scott and Charlie get married? 1985, 1987, or 1989? Susan. <gasps> oh, oh you're first. Uh, 80... Start there, 87. Yes, 2-1. Okay. Wow. Whoa. Okay, now this says... Okay, this is a bit of a tough one now. <laughs> <laughs> this says, many actors have enjoyed musical success in the UK charts, including Kylie Minogue and Jason Donovan. Nassim Susie. Julia. Okay, you're going to play Jackie and Moore. No, so you, you, you're <laughs> at this now, so oh. you're, you're at this now, Ryan. Oh, no, I'm going to sure it was Ellen. You've got to let me finish the question. <laughs> Nassim Julia has also had a number one album in the UK. What was the album title? A, Counting Down the Minutes, B, Counting Down the Hours, or C, Counting Down the Days? Only for Alan. I would have said torn, you see. Um, <laughs> Counting down the days. Yes! Yeah. Yes, that's right. Well done. So two words. Did you know that? Okay. No, it was good. No. You didn't know that? No. <laughs> okay, you've got two more. Neither did he. He said, guess I would say you need to kind of like, the counting down the minutes, that doesn't sound like, like an, an album, album title. title. No, of yeah. course. Oh, it sounds like you're, you're waiting for the album to come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're counting down the minutes. So you know, just put it out there. Ooh. Now this one, okay. Who was Paul Robinson's first wife? I hope I pronounced this right. A. Terry Inglis, B. Lynn Scully, or C. Rebecca Napier? Susan. Um, the first one you said. Terry. Yeah. It was Terry. What's the score? Three. Um, three, three, two. Two. three two. <laughs> yeah. two. This, 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 this is the crushing. This is, this the, is it, the, this is the final one. now. This okay. The okay, this one was tricky for me as well, so. Over the edge. This one. <laughs> Will it be a draw? This one, okay. How long is Neighbours screen for each episode? Is it A, 19 minutes, B, 22 minutes, or C, 24 minutes? So it's only, oh, 22 minutes. Yeah, so it's a draw. We finished on a draw. Well done. Thank you for taking part. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you proud of yourselves? Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, you got through it. Thank you. I got through it as well. You did well. Oh, thank you for taking the time out to speak with us, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Stay tuned for more showbiz info from me, Ophelia Dennis for Unreality TV, and please feel free to subscribe below.